The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We'll take a look at the German DAX first, as you can see, up in an ABC format. You can take a look at the FTSE next, ABC down. So Boris is still in the game, uh, hanging on by his fingernails, but I think he's going to make it. They call him the slippery little pig over there, but uh, I think he's a pretty cool dude myself. I've been able to... Uh, get through all this stuff. Uh, we didn't see the DAX. Well, just a second, by golly. Uh, well, it's too late now. I have deleted it. Anyway, not a problem. I've got too much stuff to do today, boys and girls. Here's one that we're paying attention to. I will just do a couple of them here. All right. Here is the... Uh, there you go. There is the DAX. Uh, shut the front door, Larry. This is the natural gas, not the natural DAX. This is the natural gas. Yesterday, we hit the 222. We mentioned you cannot go below that or it's trouble in River City. Right now, we're trading at 228. 227 and change. So uh, make sure you don't go below 228. Also, if you folks did that trade that we were doing yesterday in the Canadian dollar that was set up so beautiful, uh, well, that that one, folks, has uh, had one heck of a run so far this morning. You're up about 500 large, 500 bucks, which is uh, enough to buy a few donuts. But uh, put your stop below um, that recent low at 130.60. That way, your risk is only going to be $200 if you're wrong. I would I would look for at least a, a grand on that because it's such a big pattern that it's got a uh, it's got a really good uh, really good chance to to, to get that area. You went through the election with uh, Mr. Trudeau yesterday without too much trouble. Uh, the thing only went against you about 150 bucks. So whether it's uh, whether it's going to go up from here or not, and all, all I know now is that you've got a uh, very, very low risk. Boys and girls, I've been doing this for a very long time, and I have found something that is absolutely perfect. It's so perfect that it just scares me to death. And believe me, uh, let me get this up here and show you. It's going to it's gonna be, be surprising to some of you, but not to others. Okay, this is the price of the most heavily traded. Yeah, he won, but not by a majority, Terry. He didn't do, uh, he needed 170, he got 130, whatever those things are, whatever votes they buy. Let's take a look here at the most active stock in the world, folks. This is Apple. Uh, we're going to walk through this because you don't see this very often. Well, you see it more than you might think. But this is a daily chart going back over the last year. As you can see, we have multiple ABCD patterns forming up here in this 242, 243 level. We've made a new high. We've completed uh, several shorter term patterns up here at this 241. The actual number, I believe, is 242 that we're looking at. But let's just walk through Apple. Those of you that don't believe in patterns and don't believe in Fibonacci numbers. I just, just uh, you know, humor me a little bit and just stay, stay with me for just a little bit, okay? What we're going to do now is we're going to look at Apple on the weekly basis. So we'll get this up here so you can take a quick look at it. The one that's going to be fun is the next one. Here's Apple on the weekly basis. You can see we're making multiple ABCD patterns up here in the same area. Uh, this is the weekly. But the one that is the most fun to watch is this one right here. This one, when I look at this, I say, why wasn't I trading the stock all the way? Let's just take a look at this, folks. This is a, this is probably the best example of Fibonacci relationships and pattern recognition that you will probably ever see. Look, go back to 2013. Notice you have a perfect ABCD pattern at an exactly 78% retracement. From there, you rally from 2013. You go from 40 all the way up to 128, where you make a 1.618 expansion. Then in 2016, you come down to an exact. And if you don't believe me, do the work yourself. 
Defy human nature, as Twentyman says. You make a 61% retracement. From there, you go up and make a new high into 2017 at 176. Then you pull off about a $34 correction to the 382 retracement at 144. And from there, you get the ABCD pattern that takes you up to 240. And then you can see where we are recently with all the others. The, the low that we made back in December of last year, that we, 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 we did tell you about this because I haven't updated this chart. This is a 61% retracement of the low that we made in 2016. Look at those. Every single one of them is a perfect Fibonacci retracement. Now you've got one, two, three major ABCD patterns on daily, weeklies, and monthlies. And that, well, by golly, I would think I would not want to be an owner of, uh, of Apple in here. But, you know, since it's going to go to $300, who knows where it might go? Okay, Mr. Buffett will never let it drop. Let me say something to you, Mr. Dudette, about Mr. Buffett. Mr. Buffett had a stock back in 1998 that he said he was going to keep forever. It was called, I think it was uh, Triple LLL is what I thought it was. I think it was LLL. It was one of these uh, software deals. And he said this was going to be with him forever. Well, forever lasted one month because it was gone in his next uh, thing. And they, they questioned him about it. He said, oh, oh I, I didn't like it anymore. So what Mr. Buffett does and what Mr. Buffett says is not always the same. I can remember 1997, he was on CNBC saying that he owned 10% of all the above ground silver uh, in the United States. And uh, when the report came out a month later for uh, Berkshire Hathaway, all of his silver was gone. He sold it on the day that he made that when silver was up almost a dollar an ounce because everybody wanted to follow Warren. So be careful. These guys use these markets, folks. That's why they come on the tube. You know, that's who knows. I don't know. Hey, hey all I'm telling you, folks, take a look at Apple. You know, if this one goes straight up, it's time for Walter and I to move out into the desert to that old little hacienda out there that we've got planned, and we might just do that one of these days. But uh, we've got earnings coming out in a couple of weeks, I believe, for uh, Apple. And uh, but I think by that time, uh, this top will be in if it, it is, in fact, a top. And maybe it's not. I don't know. We'll see. OK. Let's move on to the next one that we want to talk about. By the way, we're going to have Tom Hugard, hopefully, as our guest. We're having a little bit of technical difficulty, but hopefully we'll have Tom Hugard on today. If not, we'll have him on uh, later. We have uh, uh, David Paul is due tomorrow, Norm Winsky on Thursday, and Tim Bost on Friday. Those are my guests that I have lined up uh, for these uh, particular ones that we're watching. Another one that is really, really hard to believe, and that is this one right here. Folks, I uh, I was running through my charts last night because of the, the market jumped up quite a bit on all the other stuff. But this head and shoulders pattern that I had on the, uh, the composite has not been broken yet. We have not taken out the highs of last Thursday yet in the composite. I, I believe we did it in the 100, but that was mainly due to Apple and a few of the others, uh, the big the big boys that, uh, that are cap weighted. But that head and shoulders pattern is still in uh, still in vogue. We could break it real easy today with a move up quite a bit. The Dow is lagging, mainly because of travelers today. Yesterday it was uh, Boeing, but uh, the, the, the Dow is lagging quite a bit. Uh, uh, no, I never did any shows with uh, Arthur Bell. I don't know who he is. Uh, nope, don't even know him or anything. Uh, never did. Don't know anything about him, Mr. Z. Sorry. Wish I did. We come back. We're going to talk about the U.S. dollar, folks. It's at the moment of truth. <clears throat> If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted a chart for the U.S. dollar. Uh, we've had that big ABCD form, as we've talked about many times over the past several weeks. You'll notice that the BC leg uh, that we had during May and June is very similar to the one that we have right now. Uh, yesterday, we made, actually it was on uh, Friday, and again, again on Monday, we made the exact 61% retracement there at 96.90 in the dollar index, and that is a very, very important number. And the reason why it's important, folks, we've posted the charts of the euro, how the importance of that 111 85 was, so we're now trading about 60 pips under that. The pound is now 100 pips under the price that we were watching at 129.90. The Canadian dollar has had a pretty substantial turn from here. So all of these are telling us that the U.S. dollar is starting to get a little bit of uh, strength back. So any move below that 96.20 level, or excuse me, 96.60 level would certainly tell us that this is going to uh, go a lot lower. If we're, in order for that to happen, we're going to have to see the euro above 112. And anything can happen with the pound because, you know, they're in the midst of a bunch of political stuff like we've got going on over here. So if you'll just, you know, bear with it, you'll see that you'll have uh, uh, lots of chances to look at some of these things. Remember, on the British pound, this has been the strongest. I'll put up the British pound right now for you, Bob, since we're talking about it. That British pound has had one of the strongest moves we've had in a very, very long time. In fact, they said it was in, since 1985. It has not moved that fast that quickly. And I have to, I know it moved on the downside because we were short that during Brexit when it happened. But you notice we went up to the 382 level of the high that we made way back in January. So that fills that. You can see that the two patterns from December through February, those dark black lines. All I'm trying to do there is to show you the repetition of those. And now we're trading around 129. We got to 130, 
130.10, I believe. But at any particular time, if they come out and say, you know, we have emerged with Russia, <laughs> I don't know, they'll come out with some type of a, uh, you know, just like the Chinese things with the tariffs and stuff. They'll come out and they will uh, tell us that this is what they're looking at here. Uh, and we could see a, a really an, another move all the way up to 135, and that would be a really, really big move. But that would be equal to what we had between um, uh, March of last, uh, March of 2017 into uh, uh, 2018. So that 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 brings in a lot of harmony. But with that power that we came out of there, you know, folks, we we talked about that quite a bit on the daily because we went down there at that 119.80 and held there twice, and then we pulled back exactly. You'll see it right there on the chart exactly to the 61% retracement level. And from there, boom, away she went with the Brexit thing and whatever the news is. And believe me, guys playing these Forex markets, these big banks, they know how to make these things move. So we'll see if that's it. Um, <laughs> Maria says that Brexit is the UK version of Groundhog Day. You know, Maria, what I can't get over is how much noise they make in those uh, in that Parliament stuff. Boy, they really those people don't. I I think they must like each other. But when they're on the air, boy, they are really, really vile people. My goodness, they're almost uh, a carbon copy of what we've got going on over here. So, but remember now we've got uh, the Australian dollar. The same thing. Remember we showed that three drive pattern. In the, in the Australian dollar doing pretty much the same thing. So all of those are telling us that we're, uh, the, the, the U.S. dollar is at really major, really major uh, support down here. So this is going to be interesting. And, uh, and remember, it can change instantly because some of these things, but uh, we'll have to, you know, uh, be able to see how they, uh, how they work out. All right. Now, Someone has a question here. Let's get it up. I wanted to talk just a second here about soybeans because I want to give you a little idea of what I'm watching here in the beans. Now, uh, uh, okay, hold on here. The vote is at 1 today, 1 p.m. Eastern time today. Is the vote, Pedro? Is that it from, uh, oh, wow, ha, ha. Well, okay, 7.15 p.m. Okay, that's about right, six hours difference. Okay, let's move on. All righty, hold on. 2.15 Eastern, okay, uh, 1 p.m., well, somewhere around that time. Here is the... Uh Here's the soybeans, folks. You notice that we've got a chance here to go 30 cents higher in beans. You notice that we've been uh, – go to the left over here. I, I'm just trying to show you repetitions in the market, folks, because these patterns repeat quite a bit. You notice how we were here eight days uh, back in June, and then we sold off and went all the way down to the 61% retracement. Here we are eight days. We did – last night we took out those highs. From the 14th by half a penny, I don't know what that means or not, but uh, there's a possibility you know, we're going to go a lot higher because we could make uh, another 30 cents higher in beans that could easily do that. So whether it's because of uh, the uh, dudes over there in China buying or not, I don't know. But uh, you know that's been a that's been a relatively bullish pattern. So uh, that's that's something to pay attention to. And if you look at one that that looks like it really wants to be sold. And that is this, uh, this, get this up here, because uh, you'll see, uh, this is the, uh, uh, yep, uh, yes, the, 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 those bonds are on March like little soldiers. I love those little soldiers. There, uh, we're back up to this 3080 level. Again, so we're, we're making a three drive pattern at the 78% level in the oil. Since we're talking about the bonds, and since we're talking about the bonds, and those of you that uh, pay attention to some of the things that we do around here, one of the things we were watching this morning was to uh, buy the bonds on a pullback. In fact, what we did was, after we made that bottom, we had a nice little pullback uh, just about to the 382, and uh, away she went. So uh, I suppose I, I misspelled break even. <laughs> of course, that's at 2:30 in the morning. So we'll see. Anyway, let's uh, we'll just keep watching as we go through and look at some of these things because uh, uh, as we get to uh, some of the other patterns that we're going to be looking at this morning, we want to try to cover uh, as many as we uh, as we possibly can. Hold on here one second. Here um, I have Mr. Hogard. Uh, Okay, just I'll tell him to call me in two minutes, and then we'll see what we got here, and hopefully we'll get him on here and uh, see if what we get this thing going. I don't know what else is happening here. 
Okay, all righty. Let's move on here to the next one we want to take care of. Oh, the trouble is when you got some of these guests on, they're so doggone busy that they don't always have the time to uh, uh, go through with it. You know, that's the main thing. Let's take a quick look here. We've already let me get the uh, Canadian dollar up here because we're trading above the uh, 131 area already. So that's moved uh, well over 50 pips off the bottom, which is pretty good. And that Baltic index, David, I think that's a bunch of baloney. I looked at that for many years. I couldn't figure out anything on it. If you know anything on it, let me know, because I I don't, uh, I, I don't know what that means. So who knows? We'll be able to see. You know, I don't know what that means, but uh, I think the notes are definitely, you know, we've been waiting for the notes, you know, to make a, a bottom, but, you know, they, they have not. Here's, uh, here's what we were watching yesterday, and, of course, today they finally, uh, they finally showed some life, but if you put this up here, you'll see that uh, we didn't quite make the 1.27. We, we made that low down there at 129.14, uh, and then we've had a you know $500 rally to the upside, but still a little bit early. 877-927-6648. Uh, Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trade along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Oh, hot dog. Dog, gone it. I think we have game here today. Do we have Tom on the line? Good morning. Can you hear me? 
I hear you perfectly, my friend. Folks, this is Tom Hugard from uh, Denmark, one of my very dear friends. Tom, I've already told the folks uh, about you uh, and all, you know, since we met and all that stuff. What I'd like for you to do, if you would be so kind, is to tell the folks, you know, how you got started in the business, how you got into City Index, and when you started trading and the, the journey you've been through, because it, it, you could write a book about it, and I, I think it's fantastic if you could uh, share that with the folks you want to try that sure go right ahead first of all thank you so much for having me on the program it's quite an honor <laughs> the honor is I ours was, my friend <laughs> i was about 18 years old when i came across a book called liars poker and liars poker is, uh, is written by michael lewis who was a an american who traveled to london to study at the london school of economics and when i read that book i felt that I was very like-minded in spirit and mind to uh, what Michael Lewis was like. And I decided I want to go to university in England as well. And I want to trade. I want to devote my life to trading. So I got myself a spot at a British university where I studied my bachelor's and my master's degree. And what then happened was I started working at JP Morgan. Not not as a trader, but as a, I put it back off or so, middle office. But I was sitting right next to a Bloomberg terminal. And that really was my undoing because I spent all my time in the evenings, in the weekends, studying data, studying news, everything they had taught me at university. And so after three years at JP Morgan, I quit. And I had saved uh, approximately $10,000 and I started trading and it took me 18 months to lose it all. And mm -hmm. I thought to myself, well, what do I do now? I thought, I thought this was easy. And so I became, what is they say, poacher becomes gamekeeper, uh, gatekeeper. And I started working for a brokerage in London. And I did that for the next 10 years. And that was what made me a good trader. Because mm -hmm. every single day from 5 a.m. till about 10 p.m., <clears throat> excuse me, I sat and I watched thousands and thousands of people execute millions of trades. So in the decade that I spent in London, I must have watched a hundred million trades and the person that I am very studious and, 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 and very analytical in my approach realized that everything I knew about technical analysis meant nothing. I could not make a dime with technical analysis unless the mental part of it was there as well. And so, from then on, it was really just a gradual process of getting better and better and constantly bearing in mind what it is that the 90 to the 95 percent do. And in a nutshell, they have turned their fear and their greed balance, their fear and their greed perspective upside down. And that's in a nutshell how I trade. If I'm beginning to become fearful of a trade. I, I, I chirp that as a signal that I need to add to my position. But if I'm in a losing position and I, I'm beginning to become hopeful, then I know I need to get the hell out of Dodge and I need to get out quick. Wow, that's great. That's really good. And now, when you met um, David many years ago, he was the one that uh, he, we're going to have David on tomorrow. But uh, explain to him, you know, what the big transition was. Tom, you, you've been doing, you, you, you've been trading for yourself for quite a while. But just until these last couple of years, have you gone into that area that very few people get to? And that was uh, you attribute that to David's uh, ability to uh, get you to add to winners. Is that correct? That is 100% correct. So a, a funny story uh, uh, transpired at City Index whereby David and his colleague, they ran an educational company, uh, technical analysis. 
And one of my colleagues, who was the most cynical of cynicals, who absolutely poured scorn on technical analysis, he was quite besotted with David. And I, and I thought, I hadn't met David at that point, and I thought to myself, well, someone who is as critical about technical analysis all of a sudden becomes a devout aficionado of technical analysis. Well, this David Paul must be special. And just by chance, the next week, he had a psychology seminar in Johannesburg. So I promptly booked myself on a flight to Johannesburg, and I sat for three days listening to David talk about technical analysis, talking about fundamental analysis, and but most importantly, talking about how our minds work. And what David, I, I think, I feel as if David was talking to me personally, although there was another 10 people there, but they didn't matter to me. It was as if David said to me, Tom, if you really want to make big money, learn how to add to your winning trades. It will not be comfortable. You will not like it. But that very fact that you don't like it will be the very thing that will confirm that you're doing the right thing. And it kind of led me to th think about all the millions of trades that I had seen the clients of City Index execute over, over the years. And one of the things they would constantly do is they would get into a profitable position and they would be begin to chip away at the profits. They will take half profits, take a quarter of profits, put the stock up to break even. And then by the time that the, the move had actually completed, they would only be in a quarter position. And David said to me, you don't want to be in a quarter position by the time the move has ended. You want to be 10 times as big as you were when you began. And I took that literally and it took me the next 10 years to get correct. Oh. Well, I've watched you do it, my friend, and I, I tell you, I was amazed. Uh, uh, folks, Tom and I and David Paul did that seminar on September uh, 13th and 14th over in uh, uh, 14th and 15th of September in the UK, and he showed what he was doing. And Tom, are you going to have uh, a uh, a program about what we did over there? You said you were working on an, uh, a tape on it. Is that is that still in the works? It is in the works. It's it's not actually. In the works is finished. The, the problem oh, with it, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. well, the problem with it, ladies and gentlemen, is that it was recorded using equipment that, that wasn't particularly professional. So mm -hmm. the owner of it, I think he's going to sell it for a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars, and that price doesn't reflect the quality of the speakers. <laughs> well, except for me, but it does reflect. <laughs> but it does reflect that perhaps it's not the best audio quality at all times. But it's 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 good. It's still good. Yeah. Could you stay with us for another five minute segment, Tom? Of course. Thanks. We'll be right back with Tom Hugard, folks. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're talking with Tom Hugard from Denmark. Tom, uh, someone's asked a question about, uh, give an example of, uh, you know, type of trade that you did. Now, you uh, you have a book that you've written that uh, you offer to folks, don't you? Yeah, I get a lot of questions on how to grow your trading size and trade correctly. And so I gave a speech to a broker in Denmark, and I felt that the, the people who were going to attend there, they would probably most likely forget most of the nuggets that I would give them over that three, four hours that I decided to type it up and I got carried a little carried away so I typed 40,000 words and it was about 170 pages now <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen I'm not an author and it may shine through here and there but you're more than welcome to have it as a PDF uh, it, if, if it can help you and the feedback that I've had from the people who have received it said that it gives a mm. really good insight into the Mm -hmm. The ability to trade with big size without being scared. Mm -hmm. Folks, I can tell you that it does work. So uh, how would they send it to you, Tom? What's your email address where they could uh, you know, let you know that they'd like to have it? My email is hello at tradertom.com. Say again, please. Hello at tradertom.com. Oh, that's easy. Hello at tradertom.com. That's easy enough. Uh, the other question that uh, someone's asked is, how do you how do you handle the the margin, uh, Tom, when you're dealing with these uh, multiple positions that you're doing? What uh, what what is the thing that uh, what's your main focus? Okay, so do you start out with a full position, or what? That's the main question. Is you start out, do you, or do you leg into these? No, I always start up with uh, what I call a 100% position, and then I will add in increments. You see, mm -hmm. one of the major obstacles to people here would be to add to a winning position. It's very easy to add to a losing position, but to add to a winning position, that is something that very few people have the, the mental capability of doing. Not because that's, it's technically difficult, but because you grip gripped by fear when you begin to add to your winning position. I saw 25, 30,000 people over a 10 year period continuously add to that losing position. And it was one of the actions of my trading was never ever add to a losing position, but always religiously add to your winning positions. 
And of course, yeah. one of the one of the main obstacles that you're going to find when you are added to winning position is that you will find at times that you you blow that not you, your account blows up, but that you uh, that you will lose the open the open profit that you have. So, and that's probably one of the things that most people have the most trouble with is seeing open profits disappear. Now, I have a very, uh, very relaxed attitude about seeing my profits disappear because I always go jocular. I will not, I will not pay for a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars. I will want to trade for the twenty, thirty, forty, fifties, uh, or hundred thousand dollars. I'm not interested mm-hmm. in five hundred dollars. Yeah, I, I, I saw that. I remember when we were in London, you were on a three-day losing streak, and people were joking with you about it. And in the, within the next two days, you had, a, I think, a $250,000 day, <laughs> which I think well, uh, put him, made him rather when quiet. It's good at they're doing it, it, and you are not good at it. So it's easy to want to mock them and find faults. But I assure you, I have no commercial agenda here. I, I, I have just nothing but a disciple to learn what I have learned. But the, 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 the darn hard thing is that it requires that you look yourself in the mirror. And mm-hmm. that's where most people fall short. They don't like exposing their own frailty. Mm-hmm. That's the ego. Wow. Listen, um, we've already had three requests to have you on next month. Would you be able to come on for another segment maybe next month? I'll be on my honor. Thank you. Hey, that's very much. Let's repeat your, uh, it's uh, hello at TraderTom.com? That's correct. Okay, if you folks do that, he'll send you the book, and I think you'll enjoy it. And uh, it does come with a money-back guarantee. We've already had several people ask about that, correct? Correct. (laughs) Hey, my friend, thank you very much. Come out to see me one of these days. Uh, We all love to see you out here in the desert. Thank you so much. All right, you bet, folks. Thank you very much. That was Tom Hugard out of the, the wonderful country of Denmark. And if we'll uh, take a look here at these markets here for just a second, we've got the stocks are still up a little bit. Uh, We've got bonds rallying a little bit. Gold's had a little bit of a move, a little bit of crude oil. Uh, We've had a nice move uh, in Treasury bonds so far this morning, only up about a point from the bottom, which is about time because they've been very, very oversold. And uh, we're going to see if they hold up or not. Now, the soybeans have broken out to the downside out of that little uh, panel that we had there. a new high and then broke down out of that. Now, I don't know if it's going to continue doing that or not, but that was one of the things that was on the the watch list there. Uh, Someone, uh, please type into the room there the uh, hello. I I guess I should do it myself, but I'm not a very good typist. Type in for me, please, Terry. Hello at TraderTom.com. And I recommend you folks getting the books for two reasons. One, he knows what he's doing. He's been around for a long time, and he's really, really into psychology. He spent you know, several weeks, well, more several weeks here with me in Tucson, and we became friends with uh, Mark Douglas, and we traveled meeting a whole bunch of other folks. And uh, but he knows what he's doing. But the way he does things is uh, really interesting. That's one of the reasons why I did the seminar with he and David uh, in September, because I'd been watching what Tom was doing. And I went with the help of John Jameson and reconstructed some of the trades that Tom was doing. And I saw a common factor that, uh, you know, he was always trading with the direction of the thrust. And uh, so he uses that opening price and the thrust of the market to get into some of these things. And that was the idea behind that. That uh, trade in the uh, Treasury bonds today. You had a bottom that was made, and then you had a nice thrust up of about a thousand bucks. It pulled back to a 382 retrace, well, 50% retracement, and then boom, it gave you a quick six, seven hundred dollars. Which, if you're trading, uh, that's pretty good. Now, with him, he probably had two or three hundred of them on, and it might have made a big difference. So that's it. Now, tomorrow, you're going to listen to David Paul, and uh, David will be telling you the mathematics behind it. I really enjoyed that part. It's about the flip of a coin and what it really means. And he's a he, he's a very interesting speaker. He's a psychologist, plus a mathematician. So uh, both of those guys uh, together were really something. To, I was honored to work with them, and uh, we had a very nice group of people that have uh, have done well since that time. So that's that's really good. So we'll keep an eye on some of these things as we uh, move through the day here. Uh, 
Okay, let's move on to, uh, oh, we've got a break coming up already. Holy moly, the show's almost over. Shut the front door and raise your hand. Is there any questions, folks? 877-927-6648. We'll keep an eye on what's going on with uh, some of these markets just to see uh, see what's happening with them. Uh, I don't know. We'll see uh, what we got here. The crude oil is uh, in a little bit of resistance area. Gold is still chopping around. I believe the gold, folks, is still heading down another $30 lower, down to fourteen sixty. That's what I'm looking at here over the next few weeks. Uh, it just has got that little tone to it that makes us uh, wonder whether it's going to, to really do that or not. So it's uh, very interesting to uh, pay close attention to it as we look at it. It this morning. So uh, we got a break coming up here. We come back. I want to review one other chart that I think is relatively important, and then we will uh, finish up the show. And then tomorrow we'll be back with uh, David Paul. Thursday we'll have the wizard himself, Norm Winsky, and then we'll have Tim Boss on Friday and other uh, financial cycles weekly out of Sarasota. Eight, seven, I'm certain seven, nine. you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share if you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done which is how to time the markets i'm steve rhodes author of mastering probability and for the last 12 months timer digest has been tracking my newsletter signals which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the s p 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks. I uh, Yeah, Mr. Fisher made a bad mistake. He lost, what, a billion dollars? Uh, that's not good. I don't know why he did that, but uh, might be ready to retire. Let's take a look here at this uh uh, this is Apple, folks. Uh, remember the target on Apple that we talked about this morning was 242. Let's just take a quick look here to see what's going on with Apple because here we have it today. It is now down on the day, folks. And the high of the day was, oh, I missed it. 
241.95. I'll start to rework that, what I did wrong mathematically. Being from Terre Haute, Indiana, you know, we have a rough time with the math. But this is the, uh, since October 1st, the target on all those ABCDs came in at 242. 241.95 was the number. So it might still get there. But the fact that I believe what this has been doing is that the the rising tide lifts all boats. And I think uh, Apple's been the rising tide. But uh, all I know, folks, uh, you're never going to see that many beautiful numbers and that many beautiful. Well, you do. You, I shouldn't say that. But when you see it in the most active stock in the world, uh, heavily, by far the most heavily traded stock uh, in our uh, on our continent so uh, those are just a few of the things that we're you know keeping an eye on it but that's a very interesting one to uh, pay close attention to we've got earnings in a few weeks let's we'll follow it once in a while even if it doesn't work and many of these don't but uh, that's neither here nor there i want to thank tom hugard for being on today uh, always a gracious host uh, he was on city index uh, for many years i'd have him on here i'd watch him from here in tucson and uh, got to meet him at 04 and we became very, very dear friends. And uh, in fact, I was instrumental to get him to, well, when Mr. Spencer, Mark, Mike Spencer, decided to stop um, City Index, he gave Tom a nice little package to leave. And I told Tom, go out and trade on your own. You'll be far better off than you'll ever believe. And it certainly was that. I had very little to do with his great success. That was due to himself and, and David Paul. Uh, you know, David was the one that told him to press the winners. And uh, when I watched what David did in that seminar and he'll, he'll give you some ideas tomorrow about it but it's not an easy thing to do and you got to start out small but it's the best way to look at it so we'll see you folks on the flip side tomorrow live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may god bless